Hi, hey, hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel! Beep! So, before I actually start this video, well, I've started the video before, but before I get into the video, so, Shatter Me. I read the first half of this whole series. So I read Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and also the two short stories, Destroy Me and Fracture Me, which is in the like combined book called Unite Me. So I read these some time ago and I thought that was it. I thought that was the whole series because that's what it was at the time. So, my initial thoughts were these. I really enjoyed book one, because book one is very much like you have Juliet and she's been locked away and she's kind of lost her mind. As you do, if you're locked away in the dark and not spoken to anyone or anything like that, you don't have anything, you, you're gonna lose your mind. In book one in particular, there are these scratched scratched out parts which is Juliet writing down things and just scratching them off being like blah 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 no that's that's what I'm thinking but this is what I'm saying and it's, yeah I thought that was so interesting it was a very new fresh thing it's not something I've seen in other books and you really get that feel of Juliet being kind of insane but not fully insane because she kind of goes all normal very fast. I really enjoyed book one and then the ending of book one was like, well, this is exciting. I need to see what the other books are all about. Read the other books. Didn't necessarily thought they held up to book one's hype and the hype I got from reading book one. And then I kind of also thought that the end of book three was the end. I was like, yes, I'm good with this. Goodbye. Tahara Murphy wrote more books. I mean, I'm not opposed, but also I'm not sure I needed more books. But then I went and read them anyway. For this video, I did read all of them. So I reread the first three, kind of four books, three books, two novellas, and then continued on with like part two of the series, which are the new books. So let's go through it all. First book, Shatter Me. So Warner, who is basically the dude that's holding, well one of them, that's holding Juliet hostage, he's very possessive of Juliet. She is his possession and like no one else can come near her, no one else can touch her. I mean she has this power which makes her not being able to touch other people so in a metaphorical sense no one else is like allowed to touch her. So when Warner then finds out that Adam, also a different dude, that Adam can touch Juliet without being harmed, he goes berserk. He goes mental. He's like, has he touched you? And he's trying to make it sound like it was against her will, but it wasn't. She was like, you can touch me? Hell yeah. <laughs> Camera overheated. Just love this. <sighs> Bloody summer heat. No. So, where was I? Shatter me. So, Juliet. She's not been able to be touched for a very long time so when she finds out that Adam can touch her she's like touch me baby touch me please she's um she's a bit horny to be touched you know just holding hands that kind of touch not well that kind of touch too but yeah things move along Adam and Julia escape this place where she's been captive and ends up in a different compound altogether well basically where she basically gets her x-men suit her x-men suit being a suit with gloves and all that which allows her to touch people without harming them ah. <laughs> end of book one ish 
first novella, Destroy Me. Did we really do this? <laughs> Did we? Mm. So this is basically Warner's point of view of book one and that's about it. He's, he's basically reading her journal and all that jazz and you don't get a sense of Warner being a good person. You get a sense of him being more of a dick than you did just reading the full novella. The full novella, the full book. So, book number two, Unravel Me. What am I on? So, in the compound, the whatever they call it, Omega Point, um, experiment, <laughs> experiments are being made. Uh, they're being made on Adam and fun times. So basically, Julia is supposed to be training with Kenji and, you know, learning her abilities and all that jazz. And at the same time, they're making, making, they have, they're experimenting on Adam because Adam can touch Julia. And Adam is pulling away and she, he's not telling Juliet why because she doesn't know about the experiments, but she does find out. And she blows it. <sighs> Communication. How many times do we have to tell you? Communicate. Book number... No. Novella number two. Fracture me. Again. Why? Why do we need it? We don't. It's basically a load of fluff. Which doesn't give us a lot more to the story at hand. So there you go. So book number three, Ignite Me. <laughs> so basically Warner, he has an answer for everything. Every single bad thing he's ever done, he has an answer for. Juliet's just eating it up. Like from the palm of his hand, she's just eating the shit up and it's all BS. It's all BS. I can't help but think it's a bit too convenient. And of course, Adam turns bitter. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you when you see someone you love going off with someone else? And here's the thing though. So, Julia and Adam breaks up because it turns out that Julia is actually harming Adam and she can't actually touch him the way they thought they were. And so she kind of moves on to Warner, you know, the bad guy, <sighs> who also happens to be Adam's half-brother. So she just moving from one brother to the other. I mean, they are brothers from a different mother's. They have the same dad. <laughs> the fact that she just moves from one brother to the other without like thinking about this is maybe a bit weird. I was with one brother, now I'm with, with the other one. Is it weird? No, just keep it in the family. So Ignite Me being the last in the first part of the series, all hell breaks loose and all that jazz. So basically what happens is Juliet takes charge of the world. Not of the world, that part of the world. <laughs> part two. First book, or fourth book, Restore Me. So in this one we actually, we stop, so in the first one, so in the first part, the first three books, we just follow Julia and like her part of the whole thing but now we have dual points of views <laughs> we have more points of views so we basically go back and forth between Warner and Juliet in the first part in book number four it's basically the aftermath of Ignite Me so they are picking up the pieces trying to figure out where they stand and how they are going to fit their part of the world with the rest of the world. It's, yeah, it's the aftermath. So Julia is now a supreme leader. It's not weird. Why would it be? Also, Castle, which is the guy who ran Omega Point, the other compound, he is so sus in this book. So sus. 
It's like he knows things, but he doesn't want to say things. So it's like, just say them, God damn it. Say what you know, and maybe we can figure things out along the way instead of being so sussy. Sussy! So, for the first novella, or technically the third novella, but yeah, um, Shadow Me, we are following in Kenji's point of view now. Now this, although not strictly necessary, <laughs> this was a lot more fun than the previous novellas because Kenji is a lot more fun, he's, he's a more fun character and we do get tiny snippets and a tiny bit more information about what's happening although it is his point of view of what's basically already happened. We do get tiny bit more snippets also he's not a sassy boy he's just fun uh, so this novella was a lot more fun to read. So book number five yes defy me and now we have Kenji, Warner and Juliet's point of you and we shift back and forth with between all of them basically all the supreme leaders of the worlds their kids have been messed with as in their memories have been taken away whenever the supreme leaders felt necessary so they they basically messed with their kids <sighs> and these people are running the world it's always the stupid people that's running in the world, aren't they? Anyway, so, Juliet's parents. So, she thought her parents were dead, but apparently not. The parents she thought were her parents weren't actually her parents. No, no, they were just like her adopted parents, but she didn't know that. No, she is actually the prodigy of some other supreme leaders of Oceania, I believe it was, and <sighs> wow. So basically these leaders, especially her mother, her father seems to be, you know, a clever man who just does what everyone else says. He does do s very bad things, but not as bad as her mother. Her mother is, ooh, Ooh, ah, mmm, no, no, we don't do these things, honestly. Oh, her mother is psychotic, yeah. So, her mother especially is literally experimenting on her kids. So, Juliet, it's actually not cool, Juliet, but we're gonna go with Juliet because it makes it easier. Uh, she ha also has a sister, yeah. And basically her sister is kept in this like coma and being experimented on and what? Because their powers are basically either world enders or like world conquering so it's like they're, they're the batteries needed but are they really? Are they really? And also why? Do you do these things to your children? To your own damn children? Are you insane? I mean, she's psychotic, so I mean, yes, she is, but... The backstory, since the Supreme Leader's kids have all been messed with, the memories taken and so on and so on, thought... Thought? Thought. Um, Juliet and Warner have actually met so many times before, you know, before he was keeping her hostage and they've fallen in love every single time they've fallen in love and then had the memories messed with and then met again fall in love it's basically what is happening <laughs> basically they just have their memories shaken and they meet and they fall in love over all over again uh it's it's oh it just repeats itself also, Anderson, who is the dad of Adam and Warner, um, who was the supreme leader before Juliet took charge and, you know, killed him. Yeah, he's not actually dead. Of course not. That dude is so fucking hard to kill. It's like, die already. <laughs> Just die. Be gone. Okay, novella number two. So, reveal me. Again, Kenji's point of view. Kenji's point of view throughout Defy Me, basically. So, 
that's what's happening. Book number six. It's the final showdown. Well, so basically, all the bad guys, they are killed or removed in some way, as they should. And basically, they live happily ever after. More or less, more or less. That is basically the gist of the last book. It's, they, they take over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have a bonus novella. We have a third novella, which is um, Believe Me. And Believe Me is basically very short. Warner and Juliet get married. So there you go. Now you don't have to read Shatter Me <laughs> I mean, you still can if you want. I, I haven't spoiled a lot. I spoiled some parts, the basic gist of it, but there's still like loads more things happening and all that. And Kenji is fantastic. So, I mean, read, read the books for him, if not. Uh, but yeah, basically, do you need to read them? No, but you can if you want. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.